I don't have any optimism about this, nor in my lifetime, nor in my son's lifetime. I'm hoping that in my grandchildren's lifetime there will be peace. You've looked very closely over your life at the Middle East and politics. Why do you think the region is so riven with conflict? Well, because I don't understand that the West doesn't understand up till now Islam. I don't understand that countries which are advanced, like the United States, France, whatever, who have people who have been to greatest universities, to have been to Oxford and who learn about Islamism and all that, have not yet understood that the Arabs are tribal people. There will never be democracy in Arab countries. There will not be democracy. And that is not something bad. Democracy is not the, the panacea of, the, of all the best things in the world. It depends. If people have some education to, to be able to govern themselves, to have knowledge, the, the whole thing starts, uh, uh, democracy starts with education. You cannot be democratic when you are ignorant and illiterate. But are you saying that's because the level of education in the Middle East is, is not generally yet up to that of level where people not. are and they ready are for poor. democracy? They are, they are not ready they are because they have not the education and they have deep-rooted tribal sense, a deep-rooted tribal sense. I Iraq is for, you have so many sects in Iraq. Even the Shiites are divided into the followers of Beni Sadr, the followers of the three, there are three or four big Imams who are Shiites and who disagree with each other. The Sunnis have differences between each other. Then we have all the Kurds and the Kurds fight each other. You have two leaders, Kurdish leaders. They are tribes too. So how do you want to come and say we are going to make democracy in this country? What presumptuous, stupid idea, whoever had this idea? That was not the idea of the world. The idea of the world was to make a war, and they chose the easiest place that they could beat.